Hey everyone, the name's Lossy Flowell. Today is a special day. As of the time we are recording this, I've finally surpassed 10,000 subscribers on my channel. This is a major milestone, since it means I have officially broken into the five digits of subscriber counts, and I genuinely cannot express how thankful I am for the support thus far. I've been uploading on YouTube for as far back as 2015. A lot of those videos obviously haven't gone private or enlisted, since I don't really like any of them, and I feel they don't make a good impression on my channel. After some light experimentation with some of my videos from 2021, I think I felt ready to enter the YouTube sphere after making my video on the Portal Iceberg. I consider that video to be when I truly started taking YouTube seriously. So, to celebrate the occasion of 10,000 subscribers, I made a thread on my Discord server, which you should totally join by the way, and asked people to send me questions for me to answer. I got a lot more responses than I was expecting, so I chose the questions that I would feel best to be answered. So, not every single question will get an answer here. Without further ado, let's start. Who are you? Where am I? What day is it? I'm Aussie Flower, you're in one of my videos, and it's the day of my 10,000 subscriber special. When did you get into Portal? I kind of always had this vested interest in Portal ever since I caught a glimpse of the sequel back in 2011, but it wasn't until 2012 that I actually played it for the first time on the Xbox 360. Then I got an account on Steam in 2013, which I did solely because I really wanted to use the Puzzle Maker. I was young at the time and was insanely into the idea of making my own levels and games. It wasn't hard to catch me in as early as my childhood playing Mario fan games that had level editors. Super Mario Flash 1, Super Mario Bros X, and Super Mario 63 were the three primary ones that shaped my desire of level creation. So yeah, I kinda ended up gravitating game Portal 2 on Steam for that reason. Now I'm here a decade later, still obsessed with these two games. Favorite non-Valve game? On the topic of Mario, Super Mario Galaxy is my favorite non-Valve game. I don't think I'll ever play something non-Valve that could ever top the pure spectacle and vibe of Mario Galaxy. Odyssey got incredibly close, but I still prefer Galaxy overall. What music are you into? Are you neurodivergent? I don't like self-diagnosing, but I'm almost certainly neurodivergent. I have a lot of symptoms of ADHD, possibly even autism, but that's something I'm less certain about. I'm hoping one day I will go through the process and try and get myself tested for those two. The only official diagnosis I have is for my unnaturally high level of social anxiety, which makes interacting people in person be incredibly difficult. What made you want to be the Portal Lore Master and what made you become it? It's not that I wanted to become the Portal Lore Master, more that it became a status that I started to slowly adopt the deeper I researched and learned about the Portal series. I thought it was funny, used the title at some point, and I guess the shadow quickly crumbled. I started taking the role seriously once I took YouTube seriously. I was pretty tired of the wider source community just brushing off the Portal series as something not worth talking about. At most, they treat the series with a surface level understanding of the story, the characters, and the games as a whole. With all my knowledge I've accumulated so far, I believe the Portal games have depth comparable to the Half-Life games, possibly even more obscure because no one actually bothers to research for Portal. Or basically, I'm a Portal YouTuber out of spite for the source sphere and love for the Portal games. All Portal gets is animations and memes, when it deserves so much more. The content by speedrunners like Can't Even and such are excellent, but speedrunning is only really a sector of what potential of Portal content has going for it. The content my friend Mike Das makes on his channel is an excellent example of a Portal channel I like more, even if his is more geared towards puzzle design as a whole. Was making Portal content something that you were inspired to do from someone else? As said in the previous question, making Portal content was partly inspired out of spite for the Soul Sphere and not really treating the Portal games with much care when I felt like they deserved much more. As for actual inspiration, that goes to YouTubers like Cybershell and GoMotion. You can kind of see both of their styles rubbing off on me in my videos. For any Cybershell fans in the audience, you could probably work out that him being the Sonic Lore Master was what drove me to end up with the Portal Lore Master moniker. If Ossie were to be a different species other than a dragon, what would it be? Ossie would be a shark instead of a dragon. That was actually a very close decision that almost happened. Speaking of Ossie... What's the story behind your original character? Ossie, also known as me, was designed to be my persona which is much poorer as possible. But without being overbearingly obsessive with design and the influence being more subtle. He originally was black and white in reference test chamber tiles, but he slowly greyed out as time passed on because it just looked more appealing. The orange and blue markings I don't think I need to explain, and the eyes are yellow because of GLaDOS. This burn scar on his right eye is due to the way that GLaDOS's eye is framed on her chassis in Portal 2. How did you come up with your channel and Sona name? Also, 
Where did the, the name's Aussie Flaw I'll Catch phrase come from? Aussie Flaw has a pretty funny origin story. It's two separate parts that with two separate origin stories. For a good while in a weird intermediary phrase before I became a furry, I simply went by GLaDOS, using her as an avatar and all that jazz. Once I actually started designing a fursona though, I needed a name, so I snipped the GLAD part and added C to the end, creating Aussie. Flower is just a randomly generated dragon last name that I added on. As for my catchphrase, it just sort of formed naturally. I realized I needed one and that people would mispronounce my name constantly. So it kinda easily fell together. Who was your favorite character in the Portal franchise, and why? So uh, speaking of GLaDOS, yeah, it's her. GLaDOS is my favorite Portal character. She's just a very deep character when it comes to her backstory, her motivations, and her character arc. GLaDOS as a character is very much debate heavy. Even though she has Carolyn brain mapped into her systems, GLaDOS and Carolyn became two different individuals as time passed. The fact that she didn't instantly shut off the moment Carolyn was deleted just says all that needs to be said about that matter. Moments like that signify GLaDOS as a character has grown so much more than just being Carolyn, and it's just one of the many things that make me enjoy her as a character. What is your honest opinion about Sandbox or Source 2 overall? I think Sandbox doesn't understand what it wants to be, trying to simultaneously be Gary's Bot 2 and a Roblox clone and appealing to no one as a result. It just lacks an identity. I think Source 2 overall though is really great. It's good to see Valve being broken away from the Source 1 engine. I would love to see the new games we'll be getting out of it after Half-Life Alex proved how fantastic the engine was. Would also love a proper public Source 2 SDK at some point in the future. If you had to pick your favorite color from the alphabet, what would it be? 7. What testing elements do you consider essential for a test chamber? If we're talking bare minimum, a room, an entry, and an exit is all you need. Though for essentials, having some portal surfaces, a cube, and a button is what I believe every puzzle needs at its bare minimum, if nothing else. Effective use of its testing elements is also critical. If a puzzle element is to be used in a test chamber, it should be used more than once in new and creative ways. What's your least favorite thing about Portal? The fact that I'll never get to experience something as amazing as it ever again. You've been pretty open about your dislike of the f-stop beta. What about it specifically is unappealing to you? F-stop, aesthetically, is fantastic. It's no wonder that Valve ended up reusing it for the aperture, albeit with grime, rust, and recontextualization of the assets. What I vehemently dislike about F-stop though, on an objective level, is the mechanic itself. The mechanic feels very shallow, you can only really go so far at being able to place objects wherever you look and scaling them. When even Josh Weyer himself, the lead developer of Portal 2, says that F-stop led to Valve throwing things at the wall to see what stuck, you know you've got a shit mechanic. On a more subjective level though, I hate the circle jerk that formed around F-stop. I am not joking when I say it genuinely set back Portal 2 beta research by a whole decade. Things like the Korob era and such could have been discovered so, so much earlier. But the original Portal 2 beta community honed so hard in on F-stop that it basically caused what people now call the dark ages of Portal 2 beta. What was the part in Portal slash Portal 2 that truly got you hooked into the franchise? I'm a bit weird in that my interest in games will either come instantly or never materialize. The Portal series was just kind of something that clicked right at first sight, but I think the easy to use puzzle maker kept my younger self coming back. As I explained earlier, I was super into level editors back in the day. So Portal 2 having one made an already perfect game shoot up to one of my all time favorites. Plus I'm a modder now and proper. Making videos for you guys and modding is what keeps me intrigued in Portal nowadays. What's the video you're most proud of? The Sixth Sense video I recently released. That was a video I was hoping to make ever since I started taking YouTube seriously. In fact, in my Google Drive is the very first script I ever considered writing. It's absolutely abhorrent, but a wonderful testament to how far I've come since then. Was there ever a video you really wanted to make, but simply couldn't do to specific reasons? Not quite yet. I have a giant document that has up to 90 different video ideas written down in it. Not all of them will be released though. That'll depend on when I do them and what they are. So I might have an answer to this by the time I'm gonna do another Q&A. What's your least favorite personality core? Including the Portal 1 cores? Space core. How do you feel about the furry fandom in 2022? I don't keep up with the fandom's trends and current events, so I wouldn't really know what opinion to have. Aside from all my friends, they're cool. Out of all the games in the Half-Life universe, including non-canon ones like Desk Job, which one is your favorite? I'll give you a whole list. Two main like Portal games set at the top of my favorites list. 
followed up by Half-Life 2 and its episodes, an app suggest job, Half-Life 1, Blue Shift, the Lab, and Dead Opposing Force as my least favourite. Any game not mentioned here is either because I don't have a strong enough opinion on them to mention it, or I simply haven't played it yet. Serious question, if you had never discovered Portal, what game do you think you would play, if at all? I think I'd be stuck with the Mario or Sonic games as my primary theme. Or worse, I'd still be stuck with Geometry Dash. Will we see any Geometry Dash content in the future? No. I either privated or unlisted all those videos for a reason. Do you prefer Portal 1 or Portal 2's GLaDOS design? Portal 2 design is king to me. What would be queen? I love how expressive she is there. You can really tell what GLaDOS is feeling at any given moment. And the dynamic range of the more expressive chassis provides compared to a Portal 1 design just made that design a lot more memorable in my head. Are you ever going to do a Team Fortress 2 video? Sorta? Why does your character look so cool? Uh, <laughs> thanks? Have you ever tried Portal speedrunning? If so, which of the two games do you prefer? I've never done it in a serious light. My speedrunning is just entirely casual. I know a few techniques and the like, but nothing I ever really say I want to outright speedrun. I think Portal 1 though, I enjoy essentially switching my brain off and blasting through. If there was an update to Perpetual Testing Initiative content, what new test elements should be added besides anything Pellet or Rex or are related? I wouldn't want any new test elements to be added, rather more parody with the Portal 2 campaign. An option for large, large track platforms, making us a piston platforms can be angled, allowing to have white or black surfaces rather than simply being lifts. As for new elements, auto portal frames that can be placed on angled and movable surfaces, the portal gun pedestals from change chambers 2 and 11 from portal 1, and mid chamber doors, or basically everything that I consider vanilla from B mod. If you had to stop playing one game, what would you choose? Portal 1 or Portal 2? You monster. Anyways, I dropped Portal 1. What is one thing you learned over the years from growing on the internet? A lot, really, but what I've learned is more personal to me, so I won't be sharing any of it. Is there anything you regret not doing earlier in your career? It's the fact that I didn't start sooner. How do you handle showing thousands of people your work every day, and does it ever get stressful producing videos for loads of people to watch from around the world? I enjoy it, because I get to teach people about what I'm really passionate about, and inform many others about what I know so they can learn too. Have you hydrated? I actually always keep a bottle of water me when I record my voiceovers. For Portal 1 and 2 modding, what would you recommend to get started making a total conversion? So, as mentioned earlier, I, I am a Portal modder. I've done stuff for both games, and as for total conversion projects, I lead and develop one of my own projects, Portal Catalyst, with a whole team behind. I'm also an environment artist of Portal 2 Desolation, a team of which are incredibly talented people I work with. I can't provide you exact advice, but I can provide you some general tips to keep in mind. When it comes to making total conversion mods, you need to sit down first and realize that this is going to be an endeavor they're going to be spending many, many years on, and that the leader of the project is going to be putting in the brunt of the work. Even something a bit bad like Aperture Tag took a whole year and then some to make. Portal Stories Mail took four years and that was with a whole team behind it. So basically, my tip is start small, make a little map pack you can put in the workshop first, and hold on to that big idea of yours for total conversion way later once you've honed your skills. Making a map series for a portal to a workshop will help you gain some skills that you can refine as time goes on, and eventually, one day you'll be ready to take on a full proper mod. Just remember, these things take time. Do you have a favorite source mod? I have three actually, one for each Valve series I'm into. For Portal, that title currently goes to Factum Solace Episode 2. I already ranked it as top tier portal mod in a tier list I did early on. You can see my rankings for nearly every portal mod I've played in that video. For the Half-Life series, that title goes to Entropy 2 I don't think I need to explain why this is probably one of the best Half-Life mods to come out period. It oozes quality and is a fantastic campaign. Oh, and all the Aperture led content is awesome, expect a video on it at some point in the future. Bonus mentioned here, I love Open Fortress. It's probably some of the best multiplayer fun I've ever had on the Source Engine. Its gameplay feels incredibly responsive and smooth, the maps tend to be really well laid out, and the soundtrack for Open Fortress is consistently some of the best bangers I've ever heard. Is there any Portal betas we might never see? Practically everything when it comes to Portal 2. Getting access to specific builds at certain points in time when it comes to Valve is practically impossible for anyone in the cut content community. It could be possible, even if very slim, that the demo Portal 2 made internally from the Core Hub era is still floating around somewhere. So, if any Portal 2 beta is to leak from Valve, I'd speculate the internal demo for Core Hub's Portal 2 would be the most likely one. As for Portal 1, well we kinda already have everything for Portal 1. All that's really left is visual changes, and we have plenty of people who are constantly making recreations for those eras of development. Check out Wolf Clark's video on the Portal 1 development eras if you're curious about those. What are your favourite and least favourite parts of Portal 2? My favourite part in Portal 1 is Test Chamber 16. 
Go test chamber, a great never had importance for glass lying to you, and it's just fun to brew play and see how fast you can go. Least favorite is the fact that the game is basically a slow burn towards the escape sequence wherein a lot of the action starts. Kinda gets boring after the thousandth playthrough. As for Portal 2, I love the entirety of Chapter 9 due to the stakes and all the traps you have to avoid. While my least favorite part is how goddamn long the chapters are where GLaDOS is rebuilding the facility. It's three whole chapters. Why? I mean, I know why it's remnant of the multicore era development, but anyways. Why do they call it heaven when you have in the cold food of out hot to eat the food? Because while food of out, hot of out cold is more important. Uh, I'll use that as an excuse to wrap up this video. That's 40 questions answered. Honestly, I probably won't be answering that many questions in the future, but whenever I inevitably do another one of these, I won't be making it this long of a video. <laughs> Thank you guys for the support thus far. I've got so much I want to share with the world. And you know what? Maybe one day we'll be back here again, with another zero added onto the end of my subscriber count. That'd be nice. Stay safe, you all. And thank you.